My name is Zainuddin Daoud. I was bo born and brought up in Sweden and I belong to the third generation of uh, the Free Aceh. Uh, to begin with, Aceh is one of the eldest countries in Southeast Asia and has been under Indonesian occupation since uh, 1949, which is almost uh, 70 years. Today, I and hundreds of uh, Aceh diaspora from Sweden and Denmark has uh, gathered here in The Hague to commemorate the 145th anniversary of uh, the declaration of war made by the Dutch, by the, by the Netherlands. Do you have specific reasons why you are demonstrating here? Well, uh, first and foremost, we're here because there's a feeling that uh, the Netherlands is still at war with us. Uh, they never, the declaration of war made by the Netherlands was never re revoked by them. After the Second World War, uh, Aceh was handed over by the Dutch East Indies to Indonesia, mm -hmm. and uh, that is not uh, correctly by, by the UN decolonization procedures. No, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in this case, Aceh should have been given back to the Achenese mm -hmm. instead of being made a part, uh, illegally a part of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. okay. What are your strategies to achieve the goals of your struggle? Mm. First of all, uh, we want to we want the world's attention to the Aceh issue mm -hmm. and that uh, it should be reopened mm -hmm. and the UN should reopen the case. Mm -hmm. And uh, second is to raise awareness to all the stakeholders that the Achenese has the right to self-determination yeah. and the right to the f their fundamental right. Mm -hmm. And third, that uh, Indonesians should stop invading our country and they should leave us alone because I, we think we are more capable of uh, deciding for ourselves. Yeah. Okay. ASNLF is a member of UMPO. What do you think UMPO can do to help your cause? Yes, as, in, as an uh, international uh, organization, I think uh, UMPO can do a lot to us. Uh, for example, they have international networks yeah. and uh, they have access to the UN headquarters yeah. as uh, in uh, New York and uh, Geneva as well and they also have uh, access to the European headquarters yeah. and uh, UNPO also do trainings and uh, advocacy in trainings in advocacy and uh, uh, negotiations and uh, to train our youth okay and uh, finally do you have any message to anyone relating to your independence struggle uh, yes uh, our struggle our just struggle is merely political mm -hmm. uh, it's a struggle uh, of survival for the Achenese both as a people and as a nation yeah uh, for Indonesia, I have this message. Yeah. Number one, yeah. uh, respect our historical rights. Yeah. Number two, stop plundering our natural resources, yeah. as you've been doing for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, for 50 years you have killed more than 50,000 innocent Achenese. Yeah. Stop doing it now. Okay. And number four, yeah. leave us alone yeah. and let us decide our own future, yeah. because we believe we, which we believe we are more capable of. Yeah. Okay. And uh, to the people of Aceh, yeah. let me say like this. Yeah. As long as we are united, yeah. we will make it through. Mm -hmm. um, our future is in our hands mm -hmm. and uh, we should not let anyone decide for us. Okay. Okay. And uh, we have the last words, yeah. whether we choose to live in freedom mm -hmm. or to be enslaved forever. The future is our own hands yeah. and not in anybody's disposal. Mm -hmm. As our religion teaches us, uh, man proposes and the Almighty disposes. Mm -hmm. uh, do your best and leave the rest to Allah. Thank you very much.